What's up guys, welcome to a new YouTube video. Today I'm here to talk about standards. And I'm just in my car by the way, about to head in for the night, but I wanted to film a quick video for you guys. And this is a super important concept. And this quote slash idea, I keep on hearing over and over. And every time I see it, I'm like, yeah, that's true. And I see it in, in my own life and, and the client's lives and other people's lives. And the quote is, we don't, ri uh, we don't rise to our goals, we fall to our standards. And essentially what this means is, you know, everyone and their dog has goals. Everyone has a goal to be fit. Everyone has a goal to be wealthy. Everyone has a goal to, you know, have good relationships. Um or to achieve certain things, yet few people do. And that's because very few people actually commit to and remain consistent with the standards that lead to those results over time. A lot of people tend to just have like super short bursts of action, if any action. A lot of people just don't take any action, but the people that do often just do it for a little bit, a few weeks, a few months, and then kind of fall off. And that's where standards come in. Standards are daily or weekly non-negotiables that just get done no matter what. And they get done no matter if you're busy, no matter if you're uh, if you don't feel like it. And there's always instances where, like for example, if you get sick, you might not be able to do certain things, but these standards are executed 99.9% .9 of the time, and that's why they lead to results. People who don't have standards don't achieve their goals, and it's pretty much as simple as that. And, you know, you can really see what your standards are when a hard time in life occurs. Because honestly, anybody can maintain a set of habits or initiatives when life is easy, when they have time, when they're home, when all their ducks are in a row, when all the stars are aligned, right? But when life gets busy or they have a personal emergency or they start going through some really challenging emotional stuff or they get fired or they get broken up with or they're traveling, Right, there could be many things in life. It's in those times where you actually see what your standards are. <laughs> um, it's very evident. And one quote I love from Eli Wild. He's a uh, he was one of Tony Robbins' most successful sales guys. He uses this analogy of he asks he asks people like, "What comes out of an orange when you squeeze it?" Obviously, orange juice comes out because that's all that's inside it. And that's kind of what happens to us when there's a big situ when there's a pressure situation in life, when there's a stressful situation in life, when we're kind of spread thin, when we're going through it, when we're going through a hard, nasty time. You know, it shows us what we're made of and our standards are a big part of that. And so some people, when they get slapped with a hard time, whether that be time-wise or emotional or logistical or whatever, a lot of their standards just fall completely through the cracks. They no longer work out. They no longer feed their mind. They no longer eat foods that fuel them. They no longer maintain the practices that they had committed to. And then a, however long that challenge lasts, a day, weeks, months, they completely fall off and then they have to recreate momentum from scratch after the challenge. And as we know, life always has more challenges. There's more busy times. There's more emotional challenges. There's more personal challenges. And so these are the people that never really make any long-term progress because they're so fragile with their execution. Whereas the people that have non-negotiable standards, the standards might change slightly. They might do different versions of certain things, right? If you're traveling, your execution isn't going to be necessarily the same as you're at home when it comes to maybe like the gym or nutrition, but it's going to be very similar and it's going to be 
the execution that you can do that's within your control given the circumstance, right? If you're going through something emotional, and I can relate to this myself, over the last 18 months I've gone through the most painful emotional journey I can imagine. And, you know, I talk more about this in other videos if you guys want more information on that. But essentially like a lot of inner child trauma kind of popped up at once and suppressed emotion and all these things. And I'm still kind of, uh, you know, processing through it. It's been challenging. But, you know, one thing I've kind of looked at with all that is is my standards and it became clear like certain standards I maintain very well and others I kind of like let slip um, the ones I maintained very well were like my fitness nutrition kind of um, sleep uh, execution with my business and uh, all of the things that are like super super important to me I kind of maintained at least like 97 percent of the time you know and uh so in, in that sense, I'm pretty proud of myself for, you know, maintaining a solid bottom line with my standards. It's definitely a skill to be built. It's very hard. Like teaching yourself how to execute when you don't feel like it is is a hard skill to build, but it's a skill to build that is worth, it's, it's a skill that is worth building in life because then you can maintain momentum in the areas of life that are important to you no matter what happens. Again, time thing, personal thing, emotional thing family thing, whatever the case may be, right? So that's my message for you guys today. Um, you know, I haven't been perfect with my standards, to say the least. One standard that I broke many, many times was my standard to not scroll on social media. Um, social media scrolling has been a uh, uh, distraction mechanism ever since I can remember, ever since I got a phone, <laughs> really, or, or iPod back in the day and it's something that I've been disciplined with for the vast majority of the last few years but sometimes you know when life gets super stressful or whatever I found myself scrolling and just just frying my dopamine system as we all do sometimes and uh, so I realized this and I kind of took it back within my control but I definitely slipped more times than I like to admit over the last 18 months and just like indulging in that stuff and so yeah, I mean, all you can really do is recalibrate, recommit, and uh, and just practice executing your standards no matter what happens. So if you're watching this, you might be going through a hard time right now, or maybe not. But either way, define your non-negotiable standards. Could be one thing, could be four things. Could be in the realm of health and fitness, or your mindset development, education, business, career. Define the things that you know you need to execute on each day and each week, literally no matter what. And then define even versions of those things that you can maintain even when you're traveling, even when you're going through it, even when you're, you know, you know, in, in the in the trenches, going through something tough. Define versions of the standards that you can maintain even in those times so that when they come up, you're prepared and you have some type of protocol for yourself because that's what leads to long-term results in fitness, business, and anything else. So define your standards because we do not rise to our goals. We fall to our standards. So the more dialed in your standards are, the more defined and the more consistent they are, that's what's going to really generate the results. It's what's going to determine if you become the version of yourself you want to become or not. I hope that made sense. I hope that was valuable for you. I hope it inspired at least a couple of you. Feel free to comment down below if you guys have any questions or takeaways from this concept. And besides that, I'll see you in the next video.